Hello everyone, welcome to Genius Tech. My name is Steven. I want to use this medium to appreciate those that already subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so much for the likes, for the comments, and uh, for taking your time to share my videos to your loved ones as well. I'm so, so grateful. All right, guys, so um, I'm having a good news for us. Today, we are going to be starting another new project. So um, I promised us in my previous project that um, in my concluded uh, project, uh, that we are going to be building uh, uh, um, an e wallet system. Okay, so I call it e wallet slash, slash referral system, e wallet slash referral system with goal um, React and Tailwind. So that is what we are going to be using to build this particular project. So uh, I'm going to start with the back end, then you know, move to the front end. So, but as usual, I always love to show. Um, my viewers, my you know, uh, subscribers, the kind of project they want to build at first. Maybe there is a project that they're going to have interest in in learning. So what I'm going to be using is Golang, and I'm going to be using Progress SQL. So we're going to be using Progress SQL as a database. We're going to be using Golang as a backend, um, and then. For the front end, we are using React and Tailwind. So it's an e wallet slash referral system. So, uh, okay, let me just show you guys how it works. Uh, okay, so uh, if, you, if a user here, as you can see now, this is it make more money, make money with our unique referral system. This is just a uh, uh, text just for users to be able to know. So, welcome to, I call it amazing e wallet. So, you can either log in or create an account. So, uh, let me hit on create account. So, okay, okay, so here is it. Um, for you can create an account if you don't have an account yet. So, but if you have an account, you can log in. I already have an account. So, once you create an account, you have your referral. Um, okay, let me just uh, create a new account. So, let me call this name, um, uh, Steven, Steven James. Okay, so I don't, Steven James is a new user, he doesn't have a referral code. All right. So, uh, okay, so let me just bring this guy here and close every other tab so that we can be able to focus on this a lot, okay? So, uh, okay, he's a new user, doesn't have a referral code. So, let me use this email, okay? So, and let me use password, admin123456. So, uh, okay, for example, now, I think this email already exists. So, if I click on sign up, I should be able to get uh, the response email already exists. So, uh, I... From the, uh, this message is coming from the back end. You cannot use a preview, any mail that already exists in, in the database. You cannot use that. So, for example, so if I put a password there as well, that doesn't up to six characters. So, this is just one, two, three, four, five, and it's on sign up. Password must be greater than six characters. Good. So, now let me now use uh, a wrong referral system code as well. So, let me say I just put a random, maybe I want to beat the system. And I put a random referral code here. So let's say um, I put a correct password there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let me just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here to let me say Stevie Bond Great One, two, three. So this is a new email and this password is correct. Let me hit on sign up. So invalid referral code. You see, you cannot build a system because everything is authenticated. So you cannot just use any random referral code. So let me clear this guy off now and hit on sign up. We should be able to, yeah, you see, save. We are able to get, um, we are able to sign up successfully and he's not asking me to log in now. So I have my saving bond grade and this password there. Let me hit on login. So once I hit on login, I should be able to get to my dashboard. So this is my dashboard. My current wallet system is zero dollars. So my number of referrals is zero. So now there are a couple of things you can do for you to be able to earn money. So you have to be able to share your referral link and Another user must be able to sign up with that same referral code, all right? So, and then once you sign up, then you get um, $200 here in your account. Is it $200 or $100? I don't know. We'll, we'll check that out now. I think it's $200 here that you'll get here. Anybody, anytime, any user use your referral code. So, here you can find your credit history. So when you eat on credit history, that is um, some of the transactions you make in, in sense that you can, if you have transferred money to another user on this platform, you can do that here as well. So here is a debit history. So um, debit history is what you transferred out. Credit history is when you see the money that comes into your account. So don't worry, guys. I'm going to be showing you. Let's take it step by step. So the first thing is that let's look at the dashboard. Guys, it's going to be a very, very interesting project. And I know you are going to like this project. So just 
hit on the subscribe button if you're happy with what you are seeing now and hit on the like button let me know what you feel already about this project okay so now um let's go let me click on uh trans on the share link you can share your link you see share your referral code and then, yes it's 100 dollars when someone sign up with your referral code so click on the link to copy so you can click on this link to copy your referral code so once you click it so now let's say you now send it to another user so let me open a new um browser here so let's say this particular user comes here and click on this your referral code let's assume he has already clicked on referral code and hit on enter so this is another user now that is trying to sign up with your uh what's it called now that is trying to sign up with your referral code all right so uh let's wait for it to load you see automatically your the referral code pre-populated here e6df06 that is the referral code so here now let's say the new user is uh john uh john chris okay let's say that's the name of the new user here is the referral code so the email is john uh chris at gmail.com at gmail.com all right the password again let's say one two three four five six seven okay let's hit on sign up so once we hit on sign up and uh uh, okay so then uh we have to log in now john john chris at gmail john chris at gmail okay dot com then here this password is one two three four five six seven let's click on login all right so here we've been able to log in john chris see welcome back chris john that is his name so wallet balance is loading number of referrals is zero and this guy is still loading so why are you waiting for this so let's go and check the owner of that referral code so let's come back here and see so we have to log in and log and um, we have to log out and log in so that for us to see this uh, thing to reflect here so let me hit on login again now so we should be able to see wow my wallet balance is hundred dollars because somebody has used my referral code and then number of referrals i can see that i can see that here as well so here is the list of my referrals full name john chris john chris is the one that used my referral code john chris at gmail.com that's the email address so guys you see this is working perfectly now so let's go back uh to um okay so now let's go back to uh john chris here uh let me refresh i don't know why it's keep loading this here okay so okay it's trying to refresh so uh, i just want to show us that um john chris here is still having number of referrals is zero so the wallet balance is still uh currently loading i think there is an issue there why the um something is not coming in i think it's because maybe i'm using a cognito browser it's not getting the my some of my credentials all right so maybe i can just uh do something there okay so let me just come back here and log out here and let's use john chris account i just want to show us something so let's say uh let me come here and change this to john chris john chris okay john chris at gmail.com and then the same password let's log in so uh we should be able to get this here yeah, let me save this yeah you see wallet balance for john chris is zero number of wallets is zero and then you don't have any referral yet so let's say for example now i want to transfer money to john chris from that um steven james account all right so what we have to do again let me log out here uh okay or better still let me just use a new browser so that we will not be logging in and log out all the time so let me just uh close uh this this guy here so okay it is my uh this is a new browser now this is firefox so uh let's do something here so let me just uh log into this account from here i'm going to log into john chris accounts from here and then from this here we are going to be logging into uh steven bon grade one two three so let's log in here so i just want to show you what is going to happen i want to transfer fifty dollars from my account to john chris account so let's come to firefox here and let me log in here so let's say john chris now john chris uh at gmail at gmail.com so one two three four five six seven so let me hit on login save it so that i don't have to keep retyping all the time so you can see now my wallet balance is zero and the reason why it's showing like this is because my default background for firefox is black 
So that's why um, some of these things is showing like this anyway. So, okay, this is John Chris Akans. Uh, this is Chris John Akans. And then in my Chrome, it's James Steven Akans. So let me transfer fund now. So uh, I want to transfer fund. Let me transfer fund. So the full name now is um, John. I think that's the name, John Chris. That's the full name. So the important thing is that the email address. So let's say I want to transfer it to um, just this John Felix. You know, John Felix is, is not a user on, our, on this platform. So let me say I just input my amount 50 and send fund. So I should be able to get an error message that John Felix uh, is, doesn't exist. So, um, if, yeah, user not found. That is, this email doesn't exist in our platform. So let me put in the correct email address for, um, that is John Chris now. John Chris is a user on this platform. So let me say I want to send 500. Don't forget that what is my wallet is $100. And let's say I want to send $500, for example. So let me click on send fund. So insufficient fund because I don't have up to $500. Fine. Okay, now let me put $50 there and let's it on send. So let's see money transfer successfully. Money transfer successfully. So let me click on this and let me see my debit history. I should be able to see that I've already transferred, you see, full name list of money transferred to to um, uh, to other uh, someone's wallet. So the full name of the person that transferred this money to is John Chris. So uh, the amount is $50. When did I transfer it? I transferred it this particular date and I as well, this is the time that I transferred the money. So let's go to Firefox now. Don't forget my Firefox here. I have, what is it called? Chris John account here. So let me check my credit history. I should be able to get um, the amount of money transferred to my wallet by um, Steven. So let's see now, it's loading. As you can see now, Steven, this is list of my money in my wallet now, the credit history. Steven James, then amount 50, then date. So let's go back to my wallet. Let's see my dashboard. So I should be able to have $50. Guys, wow. I have $50 transferred into my account. So guys, this is a project we are going to be building together. So if you are happy about this project, this is a what um this is an e-wallet slash referral system. So if you are happy about this project, smash the like button and let me know what you feel about this project, guys, in the comment section. So this is what we are going to be creating. So uh this is the version one. In, in the version 2, I'm looking at adding uh, much more fiction. For example, the fiction I want to add in the version 2 is that once, uh, let me go back here. Uh, let me go back to the dashboard quickly. Okay, uh, so if I eat on um, transfer fund, for example, so when I eat on transfer fund, for example, in the version 2 of this project, what I want to do is that do you, there are not, this email, this name is not going to be necessary. This um, amounts here is going to be there so what's going to happen is that the first thing the user have to put here is the email address so once they put the email address and they click on confirmed it should extract the details of the owner of this email address the full name and then yeah the full name or if the user exists in in, in this platform so that's the version two and i'm going to add much more features but let's focus on this version one first so this is what we're going to be creating first so guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, guys, it's the subscribe button. So what we are going to be doing is that we're going to be using Golang React Tailwind to build this project. So this is what we are going to be creating. If you're happy, let me know what's in the few in, in, in the comment section about this project. So guys, in my next video, we'll start getting our hands dirty. We'll start building from the scratch and then I'm going to be walking you through how you can build a complete e-wallet system like this. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye for now.